The last thing that was put on just before the storm was this gutter. And you can see the two windows are up now. My dahlias are beginning to flower in this flower bed. I need to give that a good weed. And so we're gonna fill this barrel and I'm gonna get a bigger barrel that's gonna go, oh, Inca, you tipped over my watering can rose leaping over the wall like that. Anyway, I'm gonna, the rain is gonna fill this barrel, but I'm gonna be getting a bigger one, which is like two foot square or two and a half foot square. And it'll be the, the height of this and it'll fit right in there. So I'm looking forward to that. The only thing I haven't done yet is the door. Here you can see I'm setting up now with my tomatoes caned. I have to tie the canes up to the beams. I've got to sort that out at some stage, but at the moment uh, I've caned them and tied them up. They're all flowering. And there's one somewhere that has tiny fruits on it. Um, I haven't tied all of them up. You can see this one needs tying up here. But there's loads of tomatoes, hopefully. Then I've got cucumbers and courgettes in those grow bags. The vine's doing well, and the valerian on the wall. But this is just the beginning. This is what I was doing today, but no door. And the Velux windows open in a kind of fun way and close. We're kind of primitive in how we're doing it. I don't know if you can see, there's a nail there and that nail holds it up in place. You see? I've got to turn the video off because I've got to get my footing okay. right. So here's the Velux window. You can see the nail. We're very primitive in how we did this but it works. So I essentially lift it up, bring it down, and that's that closed. Isn't that kind of cool? I'm kind of excited about that. There is a bit of a air gap right in there, but probably just put a rubber seal around it. But that is how I open and close my Velux windows for the tomatoes. So I've got loads of tomatoes, so hopefully some of them will survive my bad gardening. Here you can see they're flowering, tomato flowers. They're rather beautiful, sweet little yellow flowers. So there we go. And I water the wall now so that the valerian can survive. It's something else that I do. So I'm very pleased with how this has worked out. I'm gonna, this is how we open the Velux. We push it up, put the nail out, and there you go. It's now open and there's a cool breeze to let the air out. So that's one of the ventilations, as well as there's the door ventilation. But then the other ventilation we have are these boards. You can open them up like that and we'll put chocks in to hold them open. It's all very primitive, nothing elaborate, but it'll do the job. Isn't that right, Bear? Isn't that right? We just like doing the job. It doesn't have to look beautiful, but it just needs to look right and work. It needs to just work and do the job. You good boy. Yeah, yeah, no, no, down. And you've been busy helping too, haven't you, Inca? Yeah. So there we go. That's my day has been pinching tomatoes, caning them, transplanting them. I have to transplant that is a, one of those round gourdy squashes. I'm going to transplant that into that grow bag there. So it's been a very productive day, busy day before the storm. The last thing to do, which I forgot to do earlier, was put in my Indonesian or Southeast Asian musician, goddess, person. Um, I just put that up just now. So 
I said I was going to do that when the vast majority of this was going to be done. And there she is. So glad I finally got her up. It's been, she's been out here in all weathers. And I said, as soon as possible, you'll get shelter. So here she is, sheltered in the greenhouse. Da, 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 da. I'm so glad that I've been watering the valerian. It really makes it beautiful. And the vines are all growing up towards the ceiling. Such fun. <laughs>